Hi, good morning. Uh, just thought I would do uh, an update for you today on, uh, on the road with Goldacre Estates. Uh, literally, I'm taking properties across the whole of Fuerteventura. It's something that Goldacre Estates can offer uh, our clients in terms of properties over the whole of the island. An interesting day ahead. Uh, I'm actually on my way. I've just gone past Tindaya. I'm actually on my way to uh, Aguas Verdes, uh, which is in the municipality of Betancuria. Uh, and again, uh, lovely coastal uh, little hamlet, I would say, in Aguas Verdes to take on a little chalet there. And then down to Morajable, where we have uh, a fabulous exclusive uh, apartment in, uh, in the riverbed of Morajable, which of course, you know, that area doesn't have a lot of properties that actually come up for sale. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting one for our clients. And after that, going to the capital in Puerto del Rosario. Again, it's an area where really good price properties, great value properties. And of course, Puerto del Rosario does have a lovely beach down there. So hopefully I'll show you a little bit of that when we get down there as well. Uh, and then up to Costa de Antigua, where uh, we're going to Bourganville Apartments. Now, Bourganville Apartments at 69,000 euros. Fabulous top floor position, uh, views to the, uh, to the ocean. You might remember if you've seen some of the A Place in the Sun uh, programs, we did do a program featuring one of the apartments there that got sold. Uh, so really a very interesting day ahead. Um, and I thought I'd just update you on a few things as we're going along in terms of what the market's been doing in the last three to four months uh, and, you know, the beginning of this year, really. Uh, so let's see how we get on. So here we are in Santa Denise. Uh, actually on the Playa de Valle, or the beach of the valley. Uh, I'm just going to turn the camera around now uh, just to show you what I'm seeing in front of me. So here's a view I'm seeing, a couple of people out enjoying the view. Absolutely gorgeous waves coming in here today, quite spectacular really. This uh, on a good day as well though has an entrance area where you can actually get into uh, for a little swim. This property here used to be a restaurant back in the day. And just up here on the right is the dry river bed where we're actually going to go and shoot another video for uh, a property we're taking on. So here we are, we've just finished at the property uh, now. In the distance you can see the sea behind me and really, really gorgeous chalet we've just taken on here exclusively at 175. Uh, three bedrooms with a garage. Uh, it's an absolutely gorgeous area uh, here in Santa Ines and these properties very very rarely come up for sale so if you are actually looking for something uh, in this particular area 10 minutes walk to the uh, to the sea then you need to jump on it. Uh, one of the reasons this video really was to give you a bit of an update in terms of how the market's been going and it's been a very interesting and challenging year uh, for most most businesses of course and for us at Goldacre Estates certainly uh, it has had its challenges. The last three to four months have been very very interesting indeed. There is demand for properties. Uh, the uh, property sales per month are actually uh, over and above uh, average uh, at the moment. So it just shows you even without the number of visitors with the problems that we've had with travel restrictions and so on that there's a lot of people buying property here. Um, interestingly 39% of our sales in recent months have actually been uh, over the telephone and again part of that is due because of course we've had some beautiful new construction properties coming on one bedroom apartments for example uh, and some bank repossessions of course that we uh, we deal in, in the company uh, but also because there's a lot of people who can't physically come to the island now you're watching this program you're probably one of them um, every time one nation has a, a lockdown, another one is released. So there's actually been quite a steady trickle of people coming to Fuerteventura during the last few months. Uh, and there have been a lot of people at home, of course, hopefully with videos like this, uh, that they're able to make that all important decision and actually buy property while we have these sorts of opportunities uh, available. So it's been very interesting uh, times and, uh, and quite buoyant, to be fair. So here we are now. Uh, I've just come down the length of the island uh, from Santa Inés down through Antigua, of course, down to Morajable. And as you can see behind me, absolutely fabulous today. High tide here in Morajable. You can see the ocean coming in. The beach is to one side, taking you to uh, Candir, of course, uh, where uh, the more touristic side of the, uh, the area is, where the hotels are. Uh, beautiful, beautiful beaches there. Behind me, of course, Atlantic Ocean, 
and then you've actually come into Morakabli. Literally, this walkway takes you all the way from Handir, from the lighthouse, to the little village of Morakabli, and that's where we're going to actually take on a two-bedroom property uh, now. Really, really superb, uh, and a beautiful end to March. Uh, literally, spring is uh, almost past. It's literally like summer today. It's been 24 degrees as we're coming down uh, down the coast. So I've just walked up uh, from the seafront. I have to say today the seafront is absolutely jam-packed. All the restaurants are full. It is Easter weekend, of course. And just panning around here, just to show you a little bit of Morakabli today. It's quieter up here while everybody's at the restaurant. But there's been a lot of internal investment in the island. And of course, the councils have uh, invested very, very well in terms of the park areas and all these open areas here. Just really clean, tidy, lovely tile work all the way through. New facilities as you're coming up through Morakhable. So we've left uh, Khandi and Morakhable. Very interesting to see uh, driving through the island, of course, and seeing how many people are out and about. Khandia, as you'd expect, uh, like Coletta de Fusto, where I am now. Uh, a little bit quiet on the street, bearing in mind the travel restrictions and uh, the majority of tourism in hotels, of course, uh, has been restricted. Here in Coletta de Fusto, uh, you'll notice absolutely gorgeous day here, beautiful beaches, very quiet on the beach. Although I have to say, there are a couple of restaurants just down the road here uh, on the way to the Sheraton, uh, which have uh, quite a few people in them. And you'll notice also uh, behind me in the Barcelo, across the bay there, there'll be people in the, in the uh, restaurants there as well. Um, interesting then really in terms of market and what's happening here, uh, as you can expect, less people perhaps uh, compared to normal three million odd tourists uh, a year. However, there are people here. Um, it's interesting, and it has been very interesting to see over the last few months, the number of independent travellers that have made it out here. Of course, they're not coming through the normal tour operator route or the hotels. And of course, where are they going to be staying? Well, they're staying in private accommodation. Uh, and that's where the real estate market really uh, has started to shine. And I think interesting to see then that people who have been renting out their property to traditional tourists have been switching uh, and perhaps offering rooms and uh, independent accommodation to digital nomads, for example, who have, uh, of course, been coming out to Europe and Southern Europe and uh, being able to work remotely uh, a little bit freer then to explore. Uh, and Fuerteventura is certainly one of those destinations for them. So just before going off to Costa de Antigua to uh, take on another property there, I thought I'd just do a quick pano. Just for those of you who are missing Coletta de Fuste, can't get out here. It's a gorgeous day here, of course. As you can see, absolutely pristine the beaches around here. So with that thought in mind, it's, uh, it's interesting to see, of course, that there aren't a whole lot of properties coming to the market. Uh, there's always been uh, a lack of supply of properties here in Fuerteventura, being the last island for development. Uh, although it's one of the largest island, close to the same size as Tenerife, really in terms of property terms, uh, much fewer properties av available. So, you know, if there are bargains and there are bargains around, uh, my advice would be to, uh, to buy them uh, because now really is the time before flights uh, and things become more available uh, again uh, to, to get those properties. So be sure to uh, check the website Goldacre Estates Dot com uh, and uh, and always ask the office the sales consultants there what the best deals are if you're confident of the area uh, we're actually offering people uh, what's up video tours and so on uh, so that you can actually uh, be confident to buy and of course become one of our buyers than 39 percent of people who actually buy over the telephone meanwhile last stop today is Puerto del Rosario and look at this absolutely gorgeous swimmable beach here and again, loads and loads of investment here in Puerto. The pedestrianized streets look really gorgeous. So we're just gonna go and uh, do another video for a two bedroom here, 85, uh, sorry, 84,000 in Majada Marcial. Uh, again, a fabulous property. Uh, for the details of that, be sure to uh, check out the website Goldacre Estates uh, and we hope to see you soon.